Hey boys, welcome back to some more How Far with the Star with Sam Powell here. And this is game game four of the streak, I think. It is round three, but we did versus the Broncos in that uh Super League, you know, little World Club Challenge series thing that they got going on. And uh talking about like that little series that they got going, it would be cool if they sort of expanded that a bit. I know they only three teams versus each other. It'd be cool if they sort of made it a bit more of a uh, bit more of a thing as we look at uh, the opposition side here. Let's see Terry Campisi, Albert Kelly right there. Um, who else have we got? Mitchell Allgood as well, former Eels, I think. Dane Tills there, Raider. Maurice Blair played at a few clubs. Uh, I know he played at Panthers. Did Blair play at the the Titans before? I can't remember. But uh, Albert Kelly, man, he was. I was I was very sad to see. Albert Kelly leave the Titans for the Super League because he was, you know, he started to really find some form at the Titans, but uh, unfortunately he, um, you know, maybe the Titans sort of let him go as well as him wanting to go. As uh, right there, we put up a decent bomb. We do call for it back, put in a decent second kick, and it's going to be good work by the by the chase. We actually pin him in the end goal, so a good start to this game. As uh, we get the early. Early possession here, but yeah, Albert Kelly, um, really exciting player. He was, uh, yeah, in my opinion, he was he was very good. And Terry Campisi, obviously, uh, a very good player as well. Uh, very unlucky with injuries. Former Raiders player. As uh, right there, we get the ball off to who is this? Dan Sargeson. He's sort of the go-to man in the side. We're just parked on this right-hand side, and Sargeson, he's pretty pretty well rated. So one-on-one -on -one like that, uh, pretty easy tries in all honesty, as we take the early lead, Sam Tompkins, kicking goals, misses that one pretty early, so, uh, you know, we're looking pretty good, I don't think, I actually don't think the, uh, whole KR here have actually touched the ball, which is pretty funny, we sort of just controlled the game, as we're looking for a early tackle kick here, I was, I was initially going to try 40-20, but, we sort of, we sneaked over the 40 meter line, just trying to make good ground, and it was a decent kick, decent kick, as they look to attack the left here, who is this, Ken Sio, I forgot, I didn't see the back line, so Ken Sio, a former Eels as well, uh, decent player, you know, decent winger, but uh, playing for the Super League team as well, I think he's pretty well rated in this game, he's like mid 80s or something like that from memory, and uh, this is why, you know, I like playing... I haven't really like played any Super League games. That's why this how far with Star random random play series is good. You know, playing with some Super League sides because there's so many like um you know older older players playing for these clubs and a lot of good players uh, that have gone over to Super League probably you know later in their career. But also a lot of guys like Albert Kelly who who aren't that old. You know, Chris Sanders another one that just sort of few troubles and that sort of stuff and they. They find a place in the Super League, so it's good to you know good to see see those type of players again, and uh, that sort of stuff because you don't really see them. I mean, if you watch Super League games, and you would, but uh, don't really watch Super League at all. As uh, we palm a couple away there, get it off to Sargeson, going down the sideline there, tackled by the fullback man, Sam Powell. You know, he's uh, I know a few people have said he's just an average player in the Super League. As we look to go for a field goal, <laughs> it's not a bad little kick. It's not even going to go dead. Um, but I must have forgot it was only 4-0. So I, I thought it was a pretty good attempt, but it was pretty much worthless. Even if we got it as, uh, who was his crab and <laughs> goes straight through. We uh, we make the covering tackle. And uh, we started the second half. Just the defense is not, not pushing up. I don't know. The boys coming up very lackluster. But we get the ball here off to... Uh, I don't know who is on this left-hand side, honestly. I usually stick on the right-hand side. That's where it's telling me to go, but honestly, in this, I just play all around the field. As a big step there, gets tackled over the line. We're not going to get it down. Held up. A uh, big try saver right there. But last tackle. Last tackle kick here. Looking for the little chip, and it's a good kick, too. Who is this? Gets above the pack. Dan Sargeson. And it was funny. When I kicked this ball... And he caught it. I thought for sure he was going to do that fucking little glitch thing where he dives and misses the trial line. But he actually turns around and puts the ball down. So if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, you've probably seen it if you played the game enough. 
if they catch the ball facing the wrong way, a lot of times they'll dive and they'll just, they'll miss the trial line. They'll go dive out of the trial line. But I don't know if they like fix that in the, in the update. I mean, I didn't see it too, too often, but uh, I haven't seen it since. So maybe they did, uh, that was something that they did work on. Which is which is good. I mean, it was it usually didn't bother me because it was always the AI doing it. But if you know, be a pro and be a star, it can be quite frustrating. As we're you know we're camped on this uh, left hand side, just uh, just try to go where the spaces are. Honestly, you know, in the game and in real life, obviously, halfbacks five eights are usually left and right hand side of the field. But you know, can uh, we can go around the field? That's what we're gonna do. We gotta get our hands on the ball. Is, we get the pass there, well, we get the pass from another player, <laughs> and we go straight through, it was, uh, it was a good little play, we are just trying to link up with support, but just uh, just couldn't really make it work, a uh, good scramble again by Hell KR, and uh, it is only 8-0, I mean, Tompkins is having a tough time with the kickers, Albert Kelly picks that one off the bootlaces, the kick goes through, Tompkins, thankfully, comes across, puts on the big hit, but Albert Kelly, he's very quick in real life, uh, Honestly, in real life, he probably would have just raced away and scored that. I don't think Tompkins would have caught him. But uh, luckily in this game, we weren't going to catch him. So Tompkins was there to make the make the tackle. As it looks like, you know, we got this game pretty well wrapped up, I would would assume. But it's uh, it's not the, not the most convincing win, I would say. We were definitely pushed pretty hard in this match. As we looked to go for an early quick, we, just, we could not make any ground. And trying to use that win, but we just... Uh, not skewed it, but we aimed it a little too close to the sideline. It's a good kick nonetheless, but we could have potentially got a pretty decent 40-20. I think we're in like our, our 30 meter liners. Should be last play of the game right here. You know, maybe we'll try something a little a little fancy. And we do try a little chip kick. It's a decent kick. He gets up at the pack, gets the pass back. The chip kick actually worked pretty well there, but unfortunately, last play of the game. And uh, it's a decent win, so another another win under our belt. One error, we just controlled the game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.